NIM3 wasn't the end of solar. Um, you know, you can still save, here's how we do it. Without battery storage, you're only, be, you're, you're only able to offset what you're, what you're using during the day. Okay, so let's, let's talk more about the Q-Cell solution, or what, the, what sure. we're calling the, the Q-Home core battery inverter system. What's been your experience working with this, and how has it played out in the field as you had your first installs completed? So now, David, last question. What advice would you offer to other contractors out there that maybe they haven't figured out how to do this storage thing? All right, welcome back to the Solar Surge podcast. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge podcast, this is the show where we meet with the top CEOs and the top business leaders in the solar and energy storage space. And this morning, I'm joined by David Benson, sales manager here at Solar Negotiators, and we're going to be learning about Solar Negotiators' business and what they're doing to stay competitive in this NEM 3.0 world. So, David, welcome to the podcast. Great Thank you very you. much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. Great. Well, no, I'm really glad to, to be here, and I thank you for the invitation. One of the things I've been doing recently is meeting with solar installers across the country, but particularly here in California, to learn how they're adapting their businesses to be successful, to be competitive um, in this NEM 3.0 world. So I guess that's probably a good place to start is, um, first of all, I guess, how, how did you first get involved in solar? And then I'd like to talk more about how you're adapting to NEM 3. Yeah, of course. So my, my first involvement with solar was as a, as a customer. Um, we, uh, we've owned a couple of houses, got solar on, on both of them. Um, so my initial, uh, start here was, was on the, the customer side. Okay. Um, and then our second home, uh, we use solar negotiators, uh, to install our, our, uh, our system on, and it led to a job here and been here for about three and a half years now, um, selling for them. So it's been fantastic, um, as far as, uh, as far as moving over into the, into the solar world. That's great. That's great. Well, I, I certainly have a lot of respect for those that put their money where their mouth is as far as actually going through the process of buying and, and owning solar as well as, you know, offering it as a service. Um, so, yeah, I guess c coming back to the, the earlier point, though, you know, we, we know that the, the solar market is different now than it has been Absolutely. really any time I can remember uh, since I've been in the business. So how has it, the NEM 3.0, the regulations, how has it changed your business here at Solar Negotiators? It hasn't changed things too dramatically. Um, we've... We've always been very heavy on educating uh, when, we're, uh, when we're meeting with clients and customers going through the process. So it's still the same process. Um, fortunately, the savings are still there. Um, not quite as much as NIM2, uh, simply just because of the, the, uh, the buyback rate, uh, the crediting rate. Sure. Um, but other than that, I mean, the savings are still there. Being able to explain it clearly to people, um, getting the point across and showing them, hey, NIM3 wasn't the end of solar. Um, you know, you can still save. Here's how we do it, and uh, so it hasn't had as as big of a of an impact on us um, as many might think. Um, so we've we've been able to transition pretty good to it. Well, that, that's good to hear. You know, I started on the East Coast, and you know, back there we never really had such a financial compelling case to do solar the way you all have out here because the rates are so high out Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So for us in the East Coast, it was always kind of this one-for-one -one bill swap that we were pitching. And my understanding is that even with the cost of batteries now with solar, if you can finance it properly, you can still sort of end up in a one-for-one -one bill swap or, or maybe even save homeowners money. Is that still the case? Absolutely. Saving money. No question. With the, with the expense of, of electricity out here, um, you're still saving money, um, even with the, with the additional cost of batteries. Yeah, because I heard PG&E just raised rates again was it, was it 15, 18%? Uh, 13 to 15, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's yeah. ridiculous how, how much it costs out here. It just keeps so, going up. Absolutely. And there's no alternative, right? I mean, the, the only alternative you have to PG&E or SoCal Edison, wherever it is that you live here, the only alternative you have is, is solar. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, that, that, that's a big part of it. And, and, you know, unfortunately, I think we've been so conditioned for so long to just take whatever the power company offers you, and that's it. Now we've got kind of an alternate option here absolutely, with battery storage. But I think that's probably the big change is now battery storage has to be a part of this it does. solar equation for it to pay back properly. Absolutely, absolutely. Without battery storage, you're only, be, you're, you're only able to offset what you're, what you're using during the day. Um, so without the battery storage, you can save, but it's, it's not really the big savings that, that, you can, uh, that you can achieve by adding the battery, storing that excess power and being able to use it and access it yourself later. 
Right, right. Now, of course, one of the things that we've seen over the past year is all these new battery companies have come onto the market, right? <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> yep, and I know because I go to the trade shows and things, and I see all the different, you know, the di different booth displays. But um, for your company, what were some of the different battery and inverter options that you considered? Um, so, gosh, I think we've considered all of them, um, or a lot of them, <laughs> anyways. Um, and we, we really kind of focused in on, on the batteries, uh, companies, and the systems that are the best combination of quality, service, price, um, functionality, uh, you name it. Um, and through all of that, um, we, we really uh, narrowed it down to, to selling and, and going with mostly Q-Cell products. Um, just the, the best of, of everything um, combined into that. If that makes sense. I know, you know, when I was installing back on the East Coast, one of the mistakes I made was trying to offer all the different batteries all at once and not really standardizing down on, okay, which ones can we actually do most consistently with high quality and high profitability as Absolutely. well? Um, how have you adapted your business to manage some of the additional complexity that, that the battery introduces to the installation process? So I think we've been, we've been prepping for, for this for quite some time. Um, fortunately, as far as batteries go, there's been a lot of interest in batteries um, here in the, uh, the Central Valley, up in, the, up in the, uh, the mountains for a while. So we've been selling batteries for, for quite some time. Um, obviously not with quite as much regularity mm -hmm. <laughs> as we are now um, with NIM3. Um, but we've, we've been prepping for, for batteries for, for quite some time. Um, so I wouldn't say that it, it had a whole lot of impact in how we do things or um, you know, our processes uh, or anything like that. Um, okay. Well, that, that, that's actually interesting to hear because a lot, of, a lot of the contractors I speak with, they've had such a low battery attachment rate prior to NEM3 that it, it is kind of forcing them to, to reevaluate their, their, their procedures a little bit. Yeah. We, like I said, we've, I, I, would, I would like to, to, to think we are very forward thinking. Um, I think that we've been preparing for NEM3 for quite some time. Um, we're a little unique in the sense that we're, we don't just do installations. Um, <clears throat> we, we have, uh, we've really... Uh, hung our hat on creating a, a long-term relationship with clients, uh, being lifetime energy partners um, through maintenance, monitoring, and so forth. So um, with that long-term uh, commitment to clients, we've had to look forward to things like, like NIM3. We knew a change was coming. Uh, we knew that it couldn't stay you know, NIM2 dollar for dollar credit forever. Um, so we've been preparing for, for quite some time for this. So That's great. Now, w would you say that that, that profitability is a concern for you when it comes to doing battery installations, or do you feel that you've already sort of figured out how to manage that storage part of the part of the equation and still be as, as profitable as you may have been on solar only in the past? I, I would say that we've, we've pretty well figured it out um, as far as profitability goes. Um, uh, obviously getting the, the right partnership in place and, and being able to, to capitalize on that, being able to offer um, you know, solid pricing and, and everything on, on our products. Uh, has made a very big impact on that. But I would say we've, uh, profit, you know, profitability, productivity is still exactly where, you know, where we need it to be. Excellent, excellent. Um, again, not, not all contractors are there yet. So oh, I'm, yeah. I'm aware. <laughs> so, I'm aware. So. We've, I mean, we've seen here in the Central Valley, I mean, we've seen the shrinking of the market um, with, with the different contractors that are around. And I think that, I think a lot of that has been uh, from contractors and companies that, that weren't prepared. Right. Um, for, for moving forward in a new world um, with, with NIM3. Great. Um, okay, so let's, let's talk more about the Q-Cell solution, or what, the, what sure. we're calling the, the Q-Home Core battery inverter system. What's been your experience working with this, and how has it played out in the field as you had your first installs completed? Yeah, you bet. Um, so again, my, my experience with it obviously is on the sales side, um, but uh, as far as the experience that we've had with it, um, the customers... Um, our clients that uh, that we've installed, and I would say roughly 90% of our um, of our jobs that we're uh, that we're installing now um, in the NIM3 world include the the QCell, uh, oh, wow. the okay. QCell uh, uh, Q Home uh, uh, products, uh, the battery, the inverter, and so forth. Um, so we've got a lot of them out there now. Um, from from my side, um, as a sales you know as a sales rep, I'm very aware for the client's sake of things like um, aesthetics. Um, obviously, functionality is, is the big thing on our side. Obviously, we want to make sure that we're 
we're installing something that's going to work, that we're comfortable with, uh, that we're um, you know that we're confident of. Um, but then on on the on the client side, installing something that that still looks good um, because that's that's important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? At the end of it, you got to look at um, it, telling your <laughs> absolutely. Um, and so you know the, the one of the big differences as far as the aesthetics of it goes is that everything is combined into into one integrated unit, right? You've got your inverter and your batteries that just stack right on top of one another. Being able to show a client, hey, look, this is what's going to go, uh, you know, we've talked about how everything's going to work, but this is what's going to go, you know, on your house. This is what it's going to be. Not a battery over here with conduit running over here to a battery running over here. Um, you know, we're not taking up an entire wall of, of space with it. That's what the old storage systems used to look like. Oh, it, it's what it's still what, what a lot of them still look like. Um, you know, you've got either a five or a ten kilowatt battery that installs in one place. Then you've got to have space. You've got to move over and put another one if you're stacking multiple uh, batteries, uh, you know, on top of one another. Um, so aesthetically, it, it's for the client. There's no question. It's the it, it's the best option. Um, in terms of functionality and um, and aesthetics um, for for them, makes sense. You know? Now, what about you know your perspective as an installer? Do you find any advantages of sort of having everything on one common platform? Absolutely, on the Q Home platform. As far as installation goes, installation not only aesthetically does it look better, but from the installation standpoint, everything is right there as well. Right, we're able to to just stack the batteries right on top of one another. Um, as far as labor goes, um, you know, we're able to to, to pick through those pretty fast um, and get installations done much quicker than having to install multiple batteries in multiple locations and running conduit and, and everything around. So um, from an, inst uh, an installation standpoint, it's, it's fantastic. I, I know our, our, uh, our crews, our installers love it when they, when they see the, uh, the Q cells or what we're installing for them. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I can remember when I was installing the first generation of lithium home batteries back in the East Coast, one of the fresh, most frustrating things was we had batteries and inverters from different manufacturers. Right. And it was always this communications issues. Oh, the battery's not talking to the inverter, so the inverter turned it off. Or the inverter can't see the battery, so it's just not going to let the battery operate. Right. And a lot of these were just small little you know, technical glitches in the communication protocol, but it ultimately that meant just the system didn't work for the homeowner. Absolutely. Which means that the homeowner's not pleased. As a contractor, oftentimes you're not getting paid because you can't you can't demonstrate a fully functioning system. Absolutely, and it just leads to all sorts of headaches. So I, I can see the advantage just from you know having one phone number to call in terms of tech support or making sure that the Absolutely. whole thing is working. Absolutely, um, having everything that's you know under one umbrella, one brand, uh, being able to have one app that people can see that shows production, that shows their battery state of of storage uh, instead of multiple. Just like you said, having to combine different inverters and different batteries and and so forth. It's yeah. I mean, it, it's it's been very sharp. Great. So, so, David, what what can you tell us about the commissioning process? Once the equipment, once the gear is installed, what does the commissioning process look like? Uh, commissioning process pretty quick, um, very easy. Um, uh, speaking with uh, the crews, our our technical uh, leads that actually do the commissioning of the batteries um, and the systems. It's usually about a thirty minute, thirty forty five minute process. Great uh, to get everything commissioned. Um, I mean, we are usually, as far as an install goes, we are usually in and out uh, within a day of actually installing this, the, the panels, the battery, the inverters, getting it commissioned is usually done all in one day. That, that, that's impressive because usually it's like, okay, we'll get the panels in for the first day and then we're going to have two or three extra yeah. days to get the batteries going. Correct. So that, that's, that's good to hear. So how do you feel overall about partnering with Q-Cells long-term as a solar and storage <laughs> provider? I love the love the partnership so far. Uh, it's been fantastic. Q Cells carries with it, a, you know, a, a very good name brand uh, that people recognize uh, when we go into the homes. Um, so being able to say, you know, here's not just Q Cell panels, but Q Cell inverter, Q Cell batteries, everything being one brand, a reputable brand, um, makes things much easier. Um, and again, having being able to show them one app that has everything you need as far as your system on it um, becomes, uh, becomes a very good selling point for it. So love the relationship so far, the partnership that we've had. Um, I see it continuing for a uh, pretty long time into the future, I hope. Excellent, excellent. Well, no, no, certainly. And I think in terms of you know, long-term bankability, Q-Cells is one of those top tier in terms of just the financial strength of Absolutely. the company. 
And I know that's a big thing, again, as a contractor. And Absolutely. The, the reason I asked, asked the question that way, like a partnership, it really is a partnership. Absolutely. You know, long term, you know, it's not just getting the equipment installed, but it's now for the lifetime of the system, you're sort of partnered up with the manufacturer to make Absolutely. sure that that stays healthy for the homeowner. Absolutely. Well, we have lifetime partnerships with our clients, and it helps having a lifetime partnership with, with a reputable uh, company like QCells as well. Excellent. So now, David, last question. What advice would you offer to other contractors out there that maybe they haven't figured out how to do this storage thing you know, to the level that you've done it, to the profitability, the consistency that you've done it? What advice would you give them as they're sort of navigating through all the different storage options that are out there? Oh, man, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I would say, I would say to, to know, uh, obviously, know the clientele that you have, know what the needs are um, for that area. Um, find the best option as far as whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's uh, you know, for self-consumption, for arbitrage purposes, whether you're needing more of a, a true backup um, a solution uh, for your clients. Knowing exactly what you need out of a battery in certain situations, I think, becomes the, the most important thing. Once you know what the need is, finding the solution, I think, becomes super, super simple. Great, great. Well, folks, again, this has been a chat with David Benson, head of sales here at Solar Negotiators. Uh, and again, this is sort of part of the series that we're doing, meeting with different installers, figuring out of those contractors that are having success in this environment, what are they doing? And of course, we want to share that information with you all as well. Uh, but that pretty much does it for today's episode. Uh, David, I thank you for Absolutely. sitting down, spending some thank time Thank you very much. Us. Appreciate it. Appreciate the invitation. Um, but folks, with that, I'll wrap this one up. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.